In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why the Korak cat may not be best for you. This is one of the most adorable cat breeds out there, but with any breed, there are certain things you should be aware of before bringing one into your home. So let's get started with the seven cons of a Korak cat. The first reason a Korak cat may not be best for you is because they are a rare breed. This means they can be difficult to find and it also means they can be expensive, so be prepared to pay a premium price. If you're going to get this cat, know that you're going to spend more than you would if you just went to a shelter where there's plenty of cats and they're usually half the price or free. So if you're looking for this cat breed, just know it can be very difficult and there are plenty of cats available right now, right near you. The number two reason that a Korat cat may not be best for you is because they shed. The Korat has a short, fine coat that requires minimal grooming, which is the good news. However, they do shed quite a bit, so be prepared to have to clean up after them regularly. They have a short, fine coat, so this means it's little tiny hairs everywhere. You'll have these hairs in your furniture, in your carpet, on your clothes, so just be aware that this cat sheds. Sometimes people get cats because they don't shed as much as dogs, which can be true, but they definitely still shed quite a bit, so it's definitely something to be aware of. The number three con of owning a Korat cat is its intelligence. This is a smart, curious cat that loves to explore its surroundings. This means it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you keep an eye on them because if they get into mischief or left unattended, then it can be a problem. So make sure you always know where your core at is and if you do this, you should have no problems. But if you're looking for a cat that's more laid back and just hanging out, that's definitely not the core at. Because they're so smart, they love to explore, they love to sneak outside, and once they get outside, they could get injured or they could catch a disease. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you're always on track to where your cat is. If you do this, you'll have no problems at all. The number four reason a core app may not be best for you is because they love to play. This means they need plenty of toys and activities to keep them entertained. Otherwise, they can become bored and destructive. So it'll be up to you as the owner to buy them toys and to play with them. Some people like to get cats because you don't have to do much with them and they're pretty low maintenance, but a Korat, that's not the case. They love to be playing, they want to play with you, so it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you're playing with them, keep them entertained, and keep them active because this is what they love. They're a smart, active breed that loves to be doing things with their owner. The number five reason a Korat may not be best for you is because of separation anxiety. This is a highly sensitive breed that does not like to be left alone for long periods of time. They thrive on human interaction and attention, and if they don't get it, they can become anxious or depressed. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you're around as much as you can be for this cat. One of the reasons you get a cat is because they can be left alone for long periods of time, unlike a dog. But not this cat. They like to be around their owner as much as possible. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you're aware of this and sensitive to the fact that these cats need you around. The number six reason that a Korat cat may not be best for you is because they are talkative. This is a breed that loves to meow and make noise. This can be endearing to some cat owners, but it can also be a nuance to others. This is a smart cat that knows what it wants, so it'll make sure to meow at you, make noise at you when it's hungry or wants to play. This can be a great reminder, but it can also be annoying too if you don't want it. So it'll be up to you as the owner to decide if you want a cat that will meow when they want things. Sometimes it can be great, sometimes it can be bad. The number seven reason a Korat cat may not be best for you is because they are an agile breed that loves to jump and climb. This means they can easily get into high places, knock things over, and can be destructive. So it'll be up to you as the owner to secure any valuable or breakable items. This may not be something you want to deal with and you may want to get another cat breed that doesn't jump and is as active as this cat. But if you're looking for a cat to run, jump, play, be highly intelligent, make a lot of noise when they want things, then that is the Korat. So it'll be up to you as the owner to give them a cat tree, an option, a place to jump at high places because this is what they really love and this is when they're happy and healthy. Well, there you have it. While the Korat is a beautiful and loving breed, 
it's important to consider these cons before bringing one into your home. Thanks for watching and we'll see all of you on the next video.